Hi, this is Brian Forrester, and today we're exploring the massive Inca site of Ollantaytambo, located at the northern end of the Sacred Valley of Peru, outside of Cusco. Now, the majority of Ollantaytambo is of Inca construction, but here we see some anomalous megalithic blocks made of granite. And so, my theory is that Ollantaytambo was a very ancient megalithic site discovered by the Inca. And that's typical of many of the major sites we see like Machu Picchu. Notice the strange scoop marks on that stone. Possible evidence of lost ancient high technology. And here we have what I call the magic fountain. This is a large megalithic block that the Inca discovered and then they decided to turn it into a fountain. And notice with a flick of the hand how you can make the, the water stick to the surface and then it'll pop back out again. Quite intriguing because the Inca were experts of water management. Now this stone was shown on uh, ancient aliens and again is megalithic in comparison to this which is work of the Inca. Now we're going to walk to what's called the Temple of the Condor. And you can see all sorts of depressions and cutouts in the stone from the megalithic time period. And then the walls, such as on the right, are from the much later Inca time period. Again, we see this at Machu Picchu and at uh, Sacsayhuaman and other famous Inca sites. And here again are some blocks that are of megalithic nature and are no longer in their present position. Then we have this Inca wall. And now that we're at the Temple of the Condor, you're going to see more large blocks from the much older megalithic time period. Now the Temple of the Condor is called that because this giant outcrop of stone is roughly in the shape of a condor. So we're going to have a look here. On the left hand side you see the head. On the right hand side you see the wing. Now it's a simulacra. It wasn't shaped by anyone into that form but it does look like a condor. And here is the megalithic aspect of the Temple of the Condor. You see the very tight fitting blocks with no mortar. And here the Inca again converted this megalithic structure into a fountain. And you see how someone cut into the stone, actually probably the Inca, and made the fountain form. Now as we start to move back outside of the massive Ollante Tambo complex, you see the huge terracing systems that the Inca made. Each terrace averages about 12 feet tall. Just monumental. I would say the Inca work here is between 95 and 98 percent, with only a small percentage being the much older megalithic. And here is a very strange sculpted stone. The local story is that this is a birthing stone, as in a pregnant woman would give birth um, on top of this stone, whether that's what the original function was or not is unknown, but the Inca did have a tendency, of course, of using the megalithic site for their own purposes, not necessarily what the original purpose was. But this is something that I don't think I have put in a video about Oyente Tambo for at least five years. A very curious element at this Inca megalithic site. And here are some upcoming tours. Egypt in March of 2020. This will be my eighth annual trip. Right after that we're going to Israel to explore the ancient sacred sites and also megalithic aspects in 
Jerusalem and beyond. From May 29th to June 1st, I'll be at contact at the, uh, in the desert at Indian Wells, California. Then in June, our annual Inti Raimi Inca celebration of the Sun Tour, including megalithic aspects in Machu Picchu. In August, our annual study of the elongated skull phenomena, including the ancient megalithic sites. And in November, our annual Explore the Mysteries of Peru and Bolivia tour. Thank you for watching.